I don't love representation just for representation's sake. Yeah, we can have a bunch of TV shows on with black people in it, but if none of them have substance, if the artists aren't doing it with care, then it's actually, it's fast food. Today, we at the house. We've shot some stuff with our family. We're learning things, we're trying things, we're making things. There's a whole lot of gay stuff going on. I love it. We're all thriving, we're doing our things. We love each other. That's what Spilt Milk is all about. Get your angles, girl. You know I think this is a time for Hollywood to see these stories, Latinx stories, to see LGBT stories in a light where that's not what the main subject is. It's more so about living a daily life. Built Milk is this beautiful story about love and reconciliation. I think we've all been there, like how it can be to love someone so deeply, have such a close connection with someone, and perhaps become a perfect stranger with them in some ways in another chapter of your life. So it zooms in on that perspective through the lens of two women who loved each other. Well, I mean, I grew up in Alabama in Catholic school, so they kind of force you into the closet if you ain't already in the closet. And my friend's parents would always put my gayness on me before I was ready to like accept it because my friends would come to me and be like, my parents think you're gay or they think you like girls and this, that, and the third. And I'd be like, no, because like, how are you going to put that on me before I get a chance to put it on myself? And I didn't have a choice because my dad didn't let me because I think he was just trying to like holy water the gay out of me, which did not work. That's what good work does is that people have to see themselves in it in some way. She is a person who leads with kindness, leads with joy, and that sometimes can translate in her work where you sometimes need rough edges, you sometimes need darker colors. And I think if she, you know, keeps that in mind when doing her work, I think it'll really hit you on a bunch of different levels. Cut it. All right, let's cut. <laughs> what up, girl? Ooh, whoa, Ooh, those two. Cut it, reset it one more time. Cut it, resetting. That's, she's his mom, yeah. Yeah. You need to have her react a little bit more to him. We have other like yeah, playful stuff for them. She is someone that I see myself in, her drive and her willingness to do whatever it takes to get things done. I came to meet her through Ava DuVernay. She was a, technically a PA, and then and Ava and I have a history. Like, I was Ava's PA. I try to do my part. <laughs> There's not a video long enough to tell y'all about all the ways Ava has supported me upon my path because it's been the whole time from the moment, you know, she let me work on Selma. I always say that I got drafted to the league. And so I dropped out of University of Alabama and then I enrolled in Ava DuVernay Film School. Ava, she literally said in February of this year, she was like, you know, the next time we're on set together, I want to be looking over at you calling the shots. Oh! You guys will come visit me on my set. I'm honored. I really, really am. I'm so honored. proud of you. Mwah. Thank you. We came a long way. <laughs> for me to be able to like show her all of it wasn't for nothing and that the glass is full, it's kind of surreal. Uh -oh. Go girl. Uh -oh. Go girl. We embody it first. Body. Do you have And pop? say how professional and um, talented and strong I felt on this set from every perspective. I appreciate you guys. But thank you. Oh, I really don't have too many words. <laughs> the glue, y'all are the substance, like, I'm proud of y'all, and I just can't wait till we do the next one. We're proud yeah. of you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, on that note, we have a hard out. Yeah. Yeah.
was so special to me. It was, you know, the biggest thing I've done. It was the most intensive thing I've ever done. And for everybody just to come and do their part, but also do it with so much care and so much love. I cried about it just from all the love and care that everybody put into it. I cried about it in front of them multiple times. I still cry about it. Ain't no shame in my game. Next time on the new creative class of Lena Wave. Bye. And action. Wait a few seconds, Jalen. And go ahead. My name is Rob Morgan. I play Lionel. Oh. Making some postcards fly, and it's pretty awesome. And once he starts talking about Ty, that's your breaking point. <laughs> this is the funniest shoot that I've ever been on. All right, reset. Let's go for another one. Beautiful, 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 beautiful.